Morning, Prime Minister. Mm. Is it the newspapers? Yes. They all say that since my administration came into office, nothing has changed. You must be very proud. <laughs> no, that's not meant as a compliment, Bernard. I read all ten of this morning's London newspapers. There's not a good word about me in nine of them. But the tenth is better. Tenth is worse. Doesn't mention me at all. <laughs> what have they got against you this morning? Well, basically, they all say the same thing. That I'm a windbag. <laughs> good heavens. Yeah. <laughs> Extraordinary, isn't it? They say that my administration's all rhetoric, that I talk and talk, but nothing ever gets done. Simply isn't true. There are many reforms in the pipeline, great new change of direction, great new schemes of development, a whole new philosophy of government, profound change in the whole social fabric and geopolitical climate of this country. So what is actually happening? <laughs> nothing yet, obviously. <laughs> oh, that'll be Sir Humphrey. Let us send him in. Sir Humphrey. I suppose the origin of this criticism is this rumour about another big scandal in the city. How did you guess? Oh, Humphrey, I've decided to respond to all this criticism about a scandal in the city. The press is demanding action. Well, what are you proposing to do? I shall appoint someone. And when did you take this momentous decision? Today, when I read the papers. But when did you first think of it? Today, when I read the papers. <laughs> and for how long, may I ask, did you weigh the pros and cons of this decision? Not long. I decided to be decisive. Uh, Prime Minister, if I may say, I think you worry too much about what the papers say. <laughs> Only a civil servant could have made that remark, Bernard. <laughs> I have to worry about them, particularly with the party conference coming up. These rumours of a scandal just won't go away, you know. Well, let's not worry about it until it becomes something more than a rumour. I'd just like to show you the Cabinet agenda. No, not just now, Humphrey. This is rather more important. With respect, Prime Minister, it is not. The only way to understand the press is to remember that they pander to their readers' prejudices. Don't tell me about the press. I know exactly who reads the papers. The Daily Mirror is read by people who think they run the country. The Guardian is read by people who think they ought to run the country. <laughs> the Times is read by the people who actually do run the country. <laughs> the Daily Mail is read by the wives of the people who run the country. <laughs> the Financial Times is read by people who own the country. <laughs> The Morning Star is read by people who think the country ought to be run by another country. <laughs> and the Daily Telegraph is read by people who think it is. <laughs> oh, and Prime Minister, what about the people who read The Sun? The Sun readers don't care who runs the country as long as she's got big tits. 